Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. I'm exploring my new domain here and uh, decided to try to do some uh, portable operations. A local uh, ham, uh, F6 FEC, told me about this place and uh, it's called the uh, Far de la Garoupe. Uh, it's a lighthouse, so let's have a look. I guess I'm not the only one who's thinking about this place as a good spot for an antenna. I'm trying to find a clearing in the woods here somewhere to operate, but this just isn't. So maybe this is not the uh, the right spot, but hey, it's early in the day and uh, I can look for something else. like I'm there it's quite windy but uh, what a beautiful view guys it's amazing look at this we can see the Alps in the background amazing countryside I'm at about 1500 feet here and uh, it's just beautiful these mountains that's going to be a whole new ball game as far as radio is concerned and uh, I'm thinking that VHF uh, for me here might be playing a much bigger role, at least for regional communications. This looks like a good place for an antenna. I brought the uh, QRP guys tri-band vertical and I think it's gonna work well with my 6 meter mast here always have some masking tape it's extremely useful i've set up my uh, radials here in the rocks and the antenna is right here and i'm going to set up down there it's not as windy here is my operating position weber mtr little uh, vho 360 speaker the uh, palm paddle awesome paddles too bad the the company closed doors i hope someone else makes those because uh, they're awesome and uh, 8aa cells right now let's check the battery whoops Ten point six volts not bad i don't hear anything on the 20 meter band though nothing and that's kind of concerning nope Zilch, nada. Sounds like 40 meters is booming, but I think I'm sitting on a on an anthill. <laughs> I gotta move. I'm going to plug in the inductor for 40 meters here. There we go. This is what I call a portable station. <laughs> I add the uh, QRP guys SWR indicator, and uh, here I'm uh, well set up. I also plugged in the uh, Elecraft T1 tuner just because the uh, QRP guys tri-band antenna sometimes on 40 meters doesn't quite tune. I think there might be a contest going on. Yep, test, contest, are oh, done. I'm gonna have to try to find a quiet frequency. So that's how you tune the uh, MTR with those buttons up and down. And it works quite well. Contest. I'm gonna go to uh, maybe 7010. And uh, the way you enter a frequency in this radio is like this with the paddles O one O that's it I'm on I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I'll start calling 
QRL means uh, is there someone on frequency and apparently not so um, let's go That's about 17 watts per minute. Didn't hear me. There's a contester here. So maybe I'll try to call him. They don't like that, but just want to see if I'm heard. That was quick. He heard me though, he, he replied and uh, I gave him number one. Uh, this is what they do during contests. Uh, you have a number, every contact you increment the number by one. So this would have been my first contact in the contest, but of course I'm not in the contest. I'm on 30 meters now, so there's no contest there. Uh, Again. Well, I could have stayed on 30 meters and made a bunch of contacts, but it's just not what I'm into. For me, radio is about communicating, and uh, on 30 meters, it's just not the case. The region is amazing, it's really, really nice. And it's December, and I'm playing outside, so <laughs> that can't be wrong. Everything performed well, the station is amazing, the Weber MTR, the uh, QRP guys tri-band and ten up. Uh, palm paddles, uh, you know, everything works great. What I do want to get is uh, some kind of padded seat because uh, it's very rocky here and uh, my ass has seen better days, <laughs> so that would be nice. Again, I do think that with these mountains, 
VHF is probably going to be important, more important for, uh, to me than, uh, you know, it used to be in Florida or the north of France, uh, both flat countries. But here, with the height, uh, I think I'm going to get an MFJ 9402, which is a small 2 meter SSB transceiver. For HF, I do need to bring my 12 meter spider beam mast for more efficiency. And the QRP guy's antenna works really well for its size, but nothing beats a unfed half wave. So that's about it for this weekend. And uh, I think, uh, I hope I'll have more interesting things to show you uh, very soon. But uh, I'm just uh, discovering my environment here and uh, my new region. And uh, I have to say, it's pretty darn nice. <laughs> have a good one.